Hi. Last time we went through the videos of how you should set up your web driver, um, how you set up your Maven project, and how you do your config, uh, configurations, and how you run your first JUnit test. So this time I'm going to talk about how we really launch the browser, right? And how we do the first JUnit test as a browser testing. So first of all, you need to understand what the web driver means. Web driver is the driver that drives your application, okay, web application. Web application here, that means it's a browser. Browser is a web driver, a web page like um, web browser could be Chrome, could be Firefox, could be IE or so and so, right? So many things. And web driver is the one that drives these browsers to run your application, okay? So in the short term, when you say, running application is it will enter the URL for you it will click where you want it to be clicked it will type in it will do all of the activities <clears throat> that you would be manually testing okay so we are trying to automate those entire process right uh, before doing that whole thing you need to understand when you write your test where these drivers should be configured so that you don't have to worry on how set up so let's go with that there are a couple ways you can do one is at the class level okay where you would define this driver instances and and configure or tell where the paths are so and so or one you can do at put it in the central location where any classes across the project can access them so there are two ways I'm going to show you both ways and you decide what you want to choose and I'm going to tell you what the be best practice is okay um, so uh, to do this demo I have a couple empty package where I have nothing so first of all I'm going to just do how you would do if you had nothing else okay so I have a class that I created so this class name I'm going to put just demo one So creating class just like you have been doing okay so that loaded up my new class so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to write one test okay so this is called launch browser and of course it's going to show me the error I need to hover here and pull JUnit import so org.jnit okay so here it is there so what do you do first of all you can you will have to set up your browser so I want to run this in a Chrome you Firefox is the default browser that Selenium will need. There are some issues with the Firefox. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm going to do that in a Chrome browser. So to do the Chrome browser or IE or any other browser or Edge, you have to have some sort of setup where you would be telling Selenium to know where these drivers are. Okay. And so here <clears throat> I have downloaded this file from seleniumhq.org and then this file is the one that drives your Chrome browser okay and I have downloaded this and I have kept that downloaded file extracted into one location so I'm going to define where that location is here so to do that I have to first write system dot So it is web driver dot all small letter comma okay I'm going to put that in a separate line 
and then I need to give that path where I have so C colon double slash double slash is required in this Java um, and I have that path as Java resources that is the folder I have and then Chrome driver.exe so that is the path I have set up for the Chrome browser okay and I am going to now launch my browser so before that I'm going to just create an instance and here web driver is the interface that is being implemented by various browsers like Chrome or Opera or Firefox or all of these browsers right so I need to import that also web driver okay so it is back there open call selenium and now I need to call that out open the browser so to launch the browser you do driver equals new Chrome driver and then import that also and you see Chrome driver is there now I can launch the browser so driver.get okay you have to write HTTP otherwise it may not work www.yahoo.com right so that's my browser now I can do driver dot driver dot get title system dot out dot print on okay a oh, little bit spell here so driver dot get title it is going to print me out the title of that page which is Yahoo there are other things you can use also um, you know several things based on what you want right so next thing is called driver dot get current URL. So it is going to type me what the URL is. And there we would need need these things because sometimes there will be situations where you want to validate your URL or validate your title. So that those are the purpose this this method are there for. And these come from drivers. So again, Selenium web driver. Okay, so that's all I want to do for now, just to show you this piece, how you would launch the browser and do the first test. Okay, let's run that out. I'm going to do right click, run as, as usual, JNIT. So, as this test will do, it will launch the web, Yahoo, it will launch, uh, as soon as it, it is launched, it will read the title and then it will read the current URL okay so it is launching let me put this J unit here so you know you'll see the action what is happening okay Chrome browser is starting And sometimes your browser may not start back because uh, your Chrome driver dot exe uh, that Chrome driver dot exe file may be outdated so you might want to get latest one off the of the page uh, of the internet uh, go to selenium hq.org and try to you know get the latest one Chrome driver dot exe and then so here you go the browser launched and then it is still spinning meaning it is still working on its work uh, there's a URL. This is called URL. This one is called title. Okay, this is the title. This is the URL. That's what I want to print. So let's go to that. Let this go through. I think we're almost there. <coughs> okay, it is still loading. Okay, test passed. You see the output Yahoo is there, and then my this thing is here, right? URL. 
So <coughs> what I want to do here is actually what I was trying to demonstrate is we don't want to end up writing this setup files and define the file path location every classes because what this is doing is in order to do this in order to launch your browser you have to define this thing right <clears throat> and there are so many things that you may need to configure based on how the, your application is acting as right so I want that to be handled in some centralized location and I'll just take care of this so this driver is the instance of web driver we want to take this whole thing out defining something different location for those type of setup we want to put it on the main okay let's do that now so <clears throat> I have an empty package here inside the main utils I'm going to create a new class here new class and this class I'm going to name is as my driver okay my driver so that I will understand so this is the empty class again just like that nothing changed but here are a couple things I want to do okay now what I want to do here okay so let's do that <coughs> let me pull this thing out from here I don't want this from here I'm removing that of course it also mirror so I want to do this as private static web driver driver so what I will do here is after that it will just do this driver nobody will access this but we're gonna create some getter method so that it will provide you just the way we do in singleton pattern okay so I'm going to remove this whole thing here I'm not defining that now anywhere only one location I'll define and uh, I'll write the getter method so public static web driver okay that if this driver this driver if that driver is null then go ahead and do this for me okay now what it does is it is going to launch the browser only if it is null okay now because it's a web driver I need to return this okay and I need to return the driver. Alright. So just look at this carefully. I'm going to bring this in second line so you know. So system dot straight property web driver dot chrome dot driver. And then I have C drive where my location is. And friends here are a couple things you can understand. So you can do two, uh, <coughs> two of this slash or you could do slash just the other direction right do just four or slash one single slash and then just to define like that too it's the same thing as you define the back slash now let's get this couple spaces extra and I have that that's all I write here okay I don't need anything else all I need is just create this so this class is going to just set me the driver okay now what I do if I need to call this driver I need to call driver dot get driver so there's an error let handle that error so it's so my driver dot get <coughs> driver right my driver dot driver let's import that guy my driver is important and then then you do get so here you did driver dot get because driver was defined here now we're defining everything inside this method right so now we're doing driver dot driver is replacing this guy okay so every time I need to call the driver I'm just going to call this okay this is one and the best way you can approach there's other way you can do which I don't prefer that has certain limitations which is you could create instead of having this whole method right instead of having this whole method you would just create a this as an abstract class and extend that to every class as you want so that you can just do the driver right if you would have just called this my driver 
then you would just call the driver just like it was but this is the best approach because you don't have to extend anything you are just you are just one class so you have still room if you want to extend other class otherwise you would be extending one class just to get your driver from the centralized location right so now you have more rooms if you want to do more extends right or implement anything so that's how you do you could create any other classes you know uh, so here I'm going to put new demo I say I want to put another class new demo I did not import anything all I just do is I said before let's go with before also so I want to launch the browser in before right or I want to enter the URL in before so public void setup right and here what I would do is my driver driver dot get www dot okay now what I do I want to just do the same thing my driver dot driver dot get current URL okay so all I want to do is launch my launch a Yahoo and then tell me what the URL is it is importing that that is the before piece now you want to run with the before you cannot because there's no annotations we have to have at the rate test annotations in order to run so before runs before every at the rate test annotations method so at the rate test this is my test Be just my test all I'm going to write here is um, let's say let's write something else you are uh, title is so I'm going to write the title here my driver dot driver dot get title so get title is the method again just like we did before let's import this guy so this test is all dot jne dot test we're not doing test ng yet so don't get confused we're doing one thing at a time so this is the jne test and then let me write one after method so that it will close the browser okay public void here down okay. so my driver dot driver dot quick so it is going to now quick you want to write something closing the browser let's import this also or dot jenny dot after okay I save so here what happens is this before runs before every test every one that has other test annotation so it is going to run before these test runs and you have after so if you have a more than two tests it is not recommended you want to you know have that in one class rather you would put all of the methods that is involved in multiple tests and put that here unless those are individual tests those are dependent tests that is going to break a test you don't want to put multiple other tests in order the following test it, that's the main problem with the J unit that you cannot prioritize rest J unit is best of the best okay uh, let me run this now J unit and as you see here I did not import anything all I do my driver dot driver so it is going to give me the driver from here and then we'll do that and I'm going to show you how you would debug where that goes okay okay so you see that yellow highlight that means it is 
uh, this browser has been launched from the automation software which is a Solanium here <coughs> If it is spinning means it is still waiting that to be performed so there is still things to do because this yahoo has so much ui or graphical you know that's why it's low waiting to be loaded uh, if you open google.com that would be pretty quick because there's nothing to load at the first page so here is that so your test is running and it is about to terminate the test and it will just pass you go here you see the result and then um, then then next thing is you want to do this same thing to debug what it does then let's put some breakpoint here before doing debug I want to just to run and remove all breakpoints so that way it will remove everywhere but it's not needed so here I'm going to put one breakpoint to do the breakpoint go here and show line number right show line numbers and then you get these line numbers and you know which line number you want to put and then here you can do the driver now I want to run this demo too and that is the one that is going to launch and I'm going to put this here once the browser launch I can show you what it is doing and let's put something here so last here to do debug you have to come to debug here or you could just do right click here instead of run as do debug as and chain it Okay, so this will show you some different view than you have been doing. So it has not launched the driver yet because I put a breakpoint. So here you go. You want to see what the driver is? Right now, driver is null. See, null, it's null. So since it is null, it is going to go through line number 13. Okay, you want to put that as a watch list. Just right click here and then put the watch. So now you see the watch. So driver, you can click here and then it is null. Okay, and then let's go to next. So this is the error. There are three things you need to focus on. One is a step return. That means if you click this guy, it will get out of this whole method. Okay. If you click this guy, it will get inside this method. So if I do that here in the line number 13, it will go inside set property method. If you go this guy, it's a step over. It is going to step over through your code's line. So if it's 12, 13, 14, that's what it will do. Let's go to step over here. Okay, now it is in 13. So it is setting up where that path is going. Okay, for Chrome driver. Now the path is set up. Now you go to driver, still is null. Because it's null, it is going to give you a new browser. Okay. Okay, it launched the browser. If you see, it is going to now opening the browser. And you will see that console also. You see the red line is coming, so it is starting the Chrome. So don't get amazed, it will take a little bit time to set up, to start your browser, to get kicked off. So don't get amazed if it does not do anything, it is doing its action inside, okay? So it is launching the browser, so as I said, it is still at the breakpoint, it is not doing anything, it is not entering the URL yet, okay? So you see flashing, that means that step is there now you see the driver driver is giving the value okay this is how the driver value is okay so all encrypted you don't see anything you can't really read all it says is it's not null so now the value is not null anymore it's 217 okay let's go through this and there's another one resume so resume is going to go through next step so wherever next breakpoint is it's going to go up to there or if there's no breakpoint afterwards it will just continue run entire thing otherwise you will continue to f6 and it will go to each line by line so my purpose i'm going to do f8 ok 
okay now it is going to type the address you see yahoo.com okay I'll let that be a little small screen so you can see here what is happening usually you should not be touching the page when it's running the browser test because it will break the test okay now if you come here it went to another breakpoint okay so let's see what is this this is just the printout message it has not printed anything yet let me go next okay so now what it is look in the printout message I have given print me out the title okay my driver so again it went back there and what it is doing it is trying to look if I if it needs to really load browser again okay so because it is not null it won't launch see it get out of there because it already has a value so ID 217 otherwise it would have launched the new browser so let me go again so now you see it printed me the title again I do next it goes back there and it will look if the title this guy is empty it is not so it will go away and then it will print me that title right so you are all title now comes here and it goes back again there my driver dot driver okay it is not null so it will just go away from there next and then what's next it is going to now go to quit quit is going to look this it is going to close the browser you see that is gone okay so now this test pretty much is done let's come up to until it ends okay it is here closing the browser message is there too I'm going to do next and then just resume because I have nothing steps left and looks like the test is done okay so that's how basically you would do your debugging uh, those are called debugging you're putting breakpoints and running the test and that's how you launch your web driver that's how you would uh, define the elements right and that's how you would play with it and I hope you really really enjoyed and you really liked this video and uh, please continue to watch my video and subscribe my channel and uh, I look forward for my next videos okay thank you very much